My name's Hogan Chen, and I'll be doing a monologue from Scrubs. I'll be playing the role of JD. Probably wondering why I didn't show before, huh? I know you wanted me to, even though you never admit it. Normally, I would kill to get into your apartment. And you would try to keep me out. I said try, because at your Super Bowl party, which I was not invited to, I was lucky enough to catch the second half from right over there. I was the bearded Domino's employee that you invited in because I said I was a big fan of Jerome Bettis, whoever the hell that is. Anyway, I try to convince myself that the reason why I didn't show up earlier is because of you coming to work drunk. But that's not it. I was scared. I guess after all these years, I still see you like this superhero who helped me out of any situation I'm in. And I needed that, but that's my problem, you know, and I'll deal with it. I guess I came here to tell you how proud of you I am. Not because you try your best with those patients, but after 20 years of being a doctor, when things go badly, you still take it this hard. I gotta tell you, man, that's the kind of doctor I wanna be. Okay, my name is Ashley Johnson, and I will be doing a monologue from Freaky Friday, written by Heather Dixon, and yes, I'm sorry. This is Tess as her daughter, Anna. Mr. Bates, by what stretch of the imagination? I, I mean, like, how could I, like, get an F? I, I mean, what were my mistakes? <laughs> I, I, I mean, here you say, as in Hamlet, what's done is done. I mean, that's Macbeth, you know nothing, twit. I mean, Bates. Elton Bates, Griffith High School. Uh, you asked me, my, me, my mother, to the prom, but she turned you down. And now you're taking it out on her daughter, aren't you? Aren't you? Well. Blank. I'm sorry. Blank, uh, can I, I can't start over? Yeah, you can because the others were allowed to, but it's not good form. And I, I know. Action. Mr. Bates, but may I ask you, by what stretch of the imagination? I, I mean, like, how could I, like, get an F? I mean, what were my mistakes? I mean, that was the college level analysis. I, and here, as in Hamlet, what's done is done. That's my Beth, you know nothing, twit. I, Bates. Elton Bates, Griffith High School. You asked me, you asked my mother, to the prom. She turned you down. Now you're taking it out on her daughter, aren't you? Oh my God, I, I, I'm sure the school board would love to hear about your pathetic vendetta against an innocent high school student. Oh, and by the way, she had a boyfriend. And you were weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason Kapoor. I'm uh, portraying Scott from Happy Go Lucky by Mike Lee. Yes, you are patronizing me. You're always patronizing me. This is what you always wanted. This is what you set out to achieve. This is the game you played. You prodded me. You poked me. You stroked me. You teased me. You flirted with me. You sucked me in. You wore your high-heeled boots, your short skirt, your low-cut top, you flashed your tits, you tossed your hair, you played with a gear stick, you lied to me! This is all about you. The world has to revolve around you. I'm a driving instructor. I just wanted to do my job. You had no intention of learning how to drive. You got in that car with one thing in mind, to reel me in, and why? because you have to be adored. You gotta be wanted. And you drink it in, and you leave me with a spring in your step, you go off and you fuck your boyfriend, you fuck your girlfriend, and you all drive around in that little shitty, stupid yellow car. My name is Kimberly Burns, and I'll be performing a piece from Love Lemmings, written by Joe DiPietro. Mitz was 
it was my husband's name, but he's dead. <laughs> Actually, he's not dead. We're, we're divorced. I just, I prefer to think of him as dead. It's a little more comforting that way. Here, I, I barely even tell you my name and the information's out. The gig's up. You know, I'm divorced and there's not a thing I can do about it, damn. So, uh, yes, I, <clears throat> yes, I'm, I'm divorced. Divorced, divorced, divorced. D does that scare you? Oh, I'm so relieved. I just, I thought you were one of those really intense Catholics or something. <laughs> oh, actually, can we, can we not talk about my divorce? It is really uncomfortable. I, Thanks. <laughs> I mean, we stood there in front of 200, 200 of our closest friends and relatives, and we swore we would stay together till death do us part. But neither one of us is dead, and we have parted, so it turns out we have lied to our 200 closest friends and relatives. I guess I should send them all an apology note or something. Oh. God, I'm, I'm so sorry, Rick. I just, you know, it's, it's been a really long time since I've been out with anyone and I'm really nervous about this and, you no, know, no. I'm not going to apologize for who I am. Martha Mitz is in control. I, I am the architect of the building that is my life. I am the architect of the building that is my life. I am okay, you are, you are okay. So, Rick, Martha Mitz is in control and, and wants this, this goddamn date to start before she loses any of the little nerve she has left and throws up all over Rick Wallace. The very first date she's had since her dead husband left her! <laughs> I'm scaring you, aren't I? Thank you. My name is Nicole Jackson, and I will be performing a piece for my children married when they part of camp. Uh, when I was 16, I was babysitting my little brother, and um, I'd taken all these Percocet, and I was unbelievably high. We drove over to um, a park off of Lakeshore, and he was in his red socks. running through the leaves. And I would bury him, and he would bury me in the leaves. And he was pretending to be a train, and he was running through the leaves and making tracks, and I was the caboose. I kept saying, coal caboose, coal caboose. So we, um, it's time for us to go, and uh, I was driving, and I lost control of the car, and it went off of a bridge into the lake. I couldn't get him out of his car seat, and he drowned. And I... I struggle with God so much because I, I can't forgive myself and I don't really want to right now. I, I can live with it, but I, I can't forgive myself. And I don't, I don't think I can believe in a God that could forgive me, but I, I do want to be sober. I'm alive. And I'm present, and there's there's nothing controlling me. If I hurt someone, I hurt someone. I can ask for their forgiveness, and they can forgive me, or not. But I I can change. And in, congratulations if God makes you look up. I'm so happy for you. But if He doesn't, come here. That's all.